Did you know stroke kills about 140,000 Americans each year? That's one out of every 20 deaths. What's scarier is that someone in the United States has a stroke every 40 seconds, and every four minutes, someone dies. Stroke, also known as a brain attack, has two types. The first one is ischemic stroke in which there's a sudden lack of blood flow to the brain. This is usually caused by a blood clot obstructing a blood vessel and accounts for 80% of all strokes. The other type is hemorrhagic stroke, which occurs due to a ruptured blood vessel that causes leaking blood to accumulate and compress surrounding brain tissue. Other things can cause strokes too, and in today's video, we'll tell you what they are, from smoking, drinking, pollution, diabetes, to age, and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. High Blood Pressure When pressure builds up in a person's blood vessels, the extra stress on their arteries can make it challenging for the brain to get the oxygen-rich blood it needs. If this continues over a period of time, it can lead to a stroke. If your blood pressure is constantly 140 over 90 or higher, you should consult a doctor. Fortunately, there are many things that you can do to control your blood pressure, like exercising regularly, eating healthy food, and breathing clean air. Number 2. Excessive Drinking a major study published showed that the more we drink, the higher our blood pressure gets, which increases the risk of stroke. The researchers analyzed health data from 500,000 Chinese men over 10 years. It found that people who drank less had lower blood pressure and a reduced risk of stroke. Overall, the researchers found that the risk of having a stroke increases by 35% for every four alcoholic drinks consumed per day. The National Stroke Association recommends no more than two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Number 3. Smoking the chemicals in tobacco can cause your arteries to narrow down. They can also damage the lining of your artery walls, promoting a spike in blood pressure. When a smoker inhales, the action triggers an immediate blood pressure spike, and smokers can develop long-lasting problems in their blood vessels over time. Smoking also increases clot formation, thickens blood, and increases the amount of plaque buildup in your arteries. Number 4. Intracranial Disease Intracranial disease is a condition in which the blood vessels that deliver blood to the brain are damaged, narrow, or irregular, usually due to hypertension, diabetes, or high cholesterol. The blood vessels in the neck are carotid arteries. If they are narrow or irregular, they can form blood clots that may travel to and lodge in the blood vessels of the brain. There are a number of interventional procedures that can repair the carotid arteries. Number 5. Air Pollution this cause might surprise you, but a study of stroke patients in 188 countries around the world found that air pollution is a serious risk factor for stroke. This is relevant especially in the middle of low-income countries. Around the globe, bad air, which can include household air pollution from cool stoves and wood fires, accounts for almost a third of stroke-related disabilities. Number 6. Brain Aneurysm a brain aneurysm is an abnormally shaped blood vessel with an outpouching, usually present from birth. It may rupture as a result of extreme blood pressure fluctuation or severe illness. If you've been diagnosed with a brain aneurysm, you may or may not be a candidate for aneurysm repair, depending on the location of your aneurysm and your overall health. Number 7. A regular heartbeat an irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia can contribute to the formation of blood clots. These blood clots may travel to your brain and get trapped in small blood vessels, resulting in stroke. Often, blood thinners are recommended to reduce the risk of stroke related to an irregular heartbeat, and new at-home tools have emerged to make it easier to detect the frequency of heart rhythm irregularities throughout the day. Number 8. Blood Clotting Disorders Conditions that affect the ability of blood to clot, either too much or too little, can lead to stroke. In bleeding disorders such as hemophilia, the inability to form a proper blood clot leads to excessive and prolonged bleeding. Although a brain bleed is rarely associated with bleeding disorders, it can lead to a hemorrhagic stroke if it occurs. Blood clotting disorders, on the other hand, can lead to an ischemic stroke. People with clotting disorders are predisposed to the formation of blood clots, which can travel through the body and lodge in the brain, cutting off the blood supply. Number 9. Diabetes Diabetes is a condition that makes it difficult for the body to maintain a normal blood sugar level. When someone with unmanaged diabetes has reoccurringly high blood glucose levels, the resulting metabolic changes in the body can damage arteries, causing intracranial disease, carotid artery disease, and other diseases of the arteries of the heart. All this substantially increases the chance of having a stroke. Number 10. Autoimmune Disease 
Some autoimmune disorders can increase the risk of stroke by predisposing you to the development of blood vessel disease or the formation of blood clots. If you've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease such as lupus, there is a mildly increased risk of stroke and other blood clotting events. Number 11. Congenial Heart Defects Heart defects that are present at birth can cause a wide variety of problems, including stroke. Heart defects can include misplaced blood vessels, leaking of blood from one region of the heart to another, and other anatomical problems. Most heart defects can be detected and safely repaired at a very young age. Number 12. High Cholesterol High cholesterol may lead to problems like hypertension and diabetes, which can further damage the arteries of the heart, carotid arteries, and brain. Cholesterol has a tendency to build up and cause stickiness within the blood vessels. This increases the chance of a blood clot getting lodged in a blood vessel and interrupting blood supply to the brain. Number 13. Lack of physical activity the good news is that you don't have to move around much to make an impact. Studies have shown that about 25 minutes of moderate activity each day helps decrease a person's stroke risk. One study showed that those who got at least 150 minutes of exercise each week were 30% less likely to have ischemic stroke than those who were less active. That translates to just 21 minutes per day. Evidence also suggests that the simple act of going for a walk every day can make a stroke milder if a person does have one. Number 14. Age Although a stroke can occur at any age, your risk of stroke increases as you grow older. From age 55 and up, your risk of stroke doubles every 10 years, and three quarters of all strokes occur in people over the age of 65. Number 15. Sex Women are more likely than men to have a stroke and to die from it. Factors that increase the female odds of having a stroke include pregnancy, hormonal birth control, and longevity. In addition, women have higher rates of anxiety and depression, both of which can increase stroke risk. Number 16. Race Race and ethnicity also play a role in stroke risk. Whites and Asians have the lowest rates of stroke, while Blacks, Hispanics, American Indians, and Alaska Natives are at increased risk. In fact, an African American is nearly twice as likely to have a stroke as a white person of the same age and gender. Number 17. Genetics if you have family members who have had a stroke, you may be at an increased risk due to similar lifestyle habits or hereditary factors. Be sure to tell your doctor if you have a family history of stroke, as that will guide the medical tests that they order for you. So now that you know the causes of a stroke, it's very important to be able to recognize the symptoms as soon as possible. The quicker you can spot them, the sooner you'll receive medical attention and the better your chances of recovery are. The symptoms are generally the same regardless of the type of stroke. The FAST is a guide which makes it an easy way to remember the signs of stroke and check on a possible stroke victim. Number 1. Face Drooping Typically, one side of the face will droop or become numb. Ask the person to smile. If it's uneven, that's a sign. Number 2. Arm Weakness or Numbness a stroke will leave one arm weak or numb, making it difficult for a person to hold up both arms at the same level. See if one arm stays lower than another. Number 3. Speech difficulty or slurred speech A stroke causes confusion and makes it hard to understand speech. Check on whether the victim can repeat a simple sentence clearly. Number 4. Time to call 911 as soon as you recognize these symptoms, call 911. Even if these symptoms are only temporary, get the sufferer proper treatment. Keep in mind the exact time and symptoms started so you can reference it later. Have you ever had to help someone who was having a stroke? Were you able to recognize the signs? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.